Surroundings look familiar. It's because we've been here before. We're at the home of sports radio talk show host Bull and his dog Dieter. And if you remember any of our previous segments, they had invisible fence installed around the property to help them sort of maintain Dieter's behavior. So Bull, and and also they came by and went through a training sessions uh, with you and Dieter. So since that's happened, um, what's it been like? Well, I haven't seen Bill in a really long time. That's how good it's been, actually. Uh, but uh, yeah, Bill came over and gave us a bunch of training sessions. The, the best thing about it was they were basically on call. If I had a problem, they would come over and, and address it with Dieter and myself and kind of help us through it, and it was easy that way. Uh, but it's been terrific. I mean, uh, like I said, we haven't had to, to call Bill or see Bill because Dieter's uh, adapted terrifically. Uh, it, it's been a great experience. Well, that's wonderful. And uh, is his behavior has changed any at all? Well, his behavior in terms of, you know, our, our, our big problem, our, our, you know, we're close to the street. Uh, there's kids on bikes. There's cars, there's motorcycles, and then in the backyard there's a lot of wildlife. There's rabbits and chipmunks and birds, and he would chase them and yeah. get way out of bounds. Now, uh, he knows his boundaries, <laughs> and uh, and those wildlife are safe, and we don't have to worry about chasing them down either, so it's worked out great. And and those people driving by with trailers can, can rest easy. They won't lose their trailer now. That, that's right. The kids <laughs> on the bikes, the trailers, the motorcycles are all good. He'll bark at them, but he's not going to chase them. That's great. So. And the bill he's talking to is Bill Stroka, operations uh, manager and director for Invisible Fence. So, Bill, how was this installation compared to others? Was it typical? Or did you run into any problems? Or? No problems. Um, everything's customized, so there are some things that are typical, but, um, you know, Bull had an idea of what he wanted it to look like, and we came in, and it went in great. What's amazing is uh, we were out here shortly after you buried the line, and you do, it's like you didn't even do anything. You can't tell you've even been here. Yeah, it's really not intrusive at all. It just cuts the sod and lays that wire. And even across, uh, <clears throat> even across cement, you'll go across a crease in the cement and then reseal that crease. Right? Yep, you know, don't even know it's there. <clears throat> Now, Bill, I got a question for you. Uh, in a newer division like this, everything is buried. Uh, you don't have any overhead wires, so that means you've got tables, you've got telephone lines, you've got electrical. Does Invisible Fence have to worry about any emanations from those things getting in the way? Absolutely not. It's a coded signal, um, smart technology. Nothing's going to interfere with it or take it away, create holes or anything like that. Um, and uh, we do everything possible to make sure that that, f uh, that wall that we built is there for Dieter and nothing's going to interfere with it. That's great. That is absolutely great. Was this uh, considered a typical size job or what's maybe the biggest area you've ever had to seal off? Biggest area? Um, I was just telling Bull that uh, we we do vineyards and apple orchards, so we'll oh do hundreds of acres at a time. Yeah, so not typical, but yeah, um, yeah this was uh, this was about average. Um, we can pretty much do any size yard. That's incredible. That is incredible. Any of your neighbors expressed any interest in this now, Bull, that they've seen how Dieter's working? Or? Neighbors, family, yeah. uh, people just walking by that, that didn't even know us would start discussions. So, of course, yeah. How far from the sidewalk does he stop now? He stops about two feet from the sidewalk, pretty much. So, plenty of room for people to, you know, jog or walk or whatever they're doing, taking their leisurely, you know, exercise. Uh, so, he's, he's not jeopardizing them, and, and he's certainly not in jeopardy himself. And are you eventually going to... Uh, uh, cordon off your garden areas. Already is. Already, already does. Is. Yep. Already. So you, you you can't even see the rocks, can no, you? you can't. They they have specialty rocks that they put in uh, that have the, uh, 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 the 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 sound the frequency in them. Yeah. So they go right in the garden. You don't even know they're there. And so Dieter, you'll not see him walking in the front garden. Well, thanks for being with us. Thank you, John. Appreciate All right, it. and Bill, always a pleasure to talk to you again. Thank you, John. Thanks Amazing technology. Thank you. All right, Thank folks, you pay attention. We'll make sure you know how to get in touch with Invisible Fence and then get ready for a better life for your pet. Stay there. we got more of AM coming right up.